What is up everybody? Today we are going to be looking at the Sony a7 IV, but more specifically, a brand new tripod L bracket for this and why you should care. Hey guys, my name is John Spartman. I'm a wedding photographer in Birmingham, UK, and you can find my work at jdsweddings.com. Now, I've had a long-standing relationship with the tripod manufacturer Three-Legged Thing. They're a great British, great British uh, company who design really versatile, really hard-wearing and pretty funky tripods. In fact, I'm using the Cory tripod from their absolute basic range, but basic does not mean bad by three-legged thing. This thing has lasted me years already, and it was a replacement from their Viv tripod, which lasted me about six years. In a previous video, I have reviewed their Ellie Short. Now that is a L bracket for smaller mirrorless cameras back when I was shooting on Fujifilm. I was using their adaptable one. This you could uh, make bigger, smaller, turn the side bit around a little bit if need be, just so it can customize and go on any of your cameras. Recently, they reached out with a brand new product. This is the Alfie. This is a custom design specifically made L bracket for the Sony a7 IV series. It is completely hot off the press and it is compatible with the a7 IV, R5, a7 III, R3, R4, S2, S3, A9, 2 and A1. So quite a few cameras, but it's this basic design here, this quite large mirrorless camera. And I just want to go through the specs of, of what you expect with it, the features, the upgrade since the LE short. You know, I watched that video last night from myself and I did put at the end of that video some things I would like to see in a future uh, L bracket and they they have absolutely done it this time so I want to sing their praises on that one. Now when I did my last video it was I think it was the start of 2021 uh, we were in lockdown and you know the rise of vertical shooting was starting to happen back then we were getting into the realms of TikTok becoming huge uh, people were starting to record specific trailers for videos and music videos and films all in a vertical orientation instead of the, the regular horizontal uh, and that's when L bracket comes in. You can on most tripods actually turn the head sideways, turn it 90 degrees and then have your camera basically in an upright fashion like this but it makes the tripod very side heavy. The, the center of gravity is now off the side, more susceptible to just you know, falling over to one side. Nobody wants that, especially with a nice heavy camera like this. Uh, you also found that it was quite time consuming to do that adjustment to then uh, fix your direct upright point to get the spirit levels all nice and clear. Um, an L bracket is going to get rid of all those problems. Essentially, Arca Swiss is a pair of grippy hands that go around the bottom of this tripod plate and keep it in place. And very commonly you'll have these two hard stop points, one there and one there. And these are to stop the camera from basically sliding too far to the left and right on this, this grippy point uh, so it doesn't fall off the sides if you haven't tightened it enough. Now this would stay permanently affixed to your camera. So this is a custom molded one for this type of camera. This is why the Alfie is specifically for that range of Sony cameras. It attaches right in the middle. We got it there. And that is the tripod screw thread mount at the bottom of every camera. Got this nice little lip here which just goes over the front of the camera and that is to stop wiggle. Um, with the Eddie Short I found that one of my main issues was that once you had fixed it this will start to move if you haven't tightened it down enough because there's only one mounting point and it was basically held there by friction. Because this has uh, a lip on the front of it this is going to stop any rotation. This is nice and firm. This not going anywhere. And of course, being an L bracket, we have the exact same feature, the Arca Swiss on the side as well. This is always on the left hand side. You can't put it on the right hand side. It won't fit. Uh, and then this allows you to just rotate the camera, clamp it here instead. So you can put it on a tripod mount and you can just pop it there and you can basically just move up, down, up, down real nice and quick. Uh, you can save time. You've already got a setup tripod uh, with the spirit level exactly where you need it to be already. Now the benefit of having a custom designed or specifically made L bracket, or basically any accessory at this point for any of your cameras, is that you are paying a premium to have something which completely works with your system. Now, what do I mean by this? This has cutouts in certain points. It has apertures around the sides, in very specific measurements, and that allows complete access to all of the ports 
all of the sections of the camera that you need to. We can really go in and we can open all those ports for HDMI and power and microphone and stuff. So you can still connect on the side if you're doing any video. We also have a really smartly designed cutout area. That's this gap just here. This is designed so when you flip your screen out, you can rotate out through the gap and you can still have yourself a screen on the side where you can adjust it. You can go from looking straight down to at a slight angle. You can't exactly get it all the way out because of the way that the bracket is blocking it, but this is definitely something more than most L brackets would let you do. So that is quite handy. It also stops short on the bottom. So if you need to get your battery out, it's not going to block the door in the slightest. I find that's actually really handy for the days I'm doing video and I go through 3000 of these batteries. Uh, so that is a nice space saving thing. And the main objective with this L bracket is just to not get in the way of the daily use of your camera. It's supposed to be there permanently and then just be there as an added mounting point for all of your accessories and sticking on tripods. One of the other points I made in my previous video about the Eddie Short was there was no point to attach um, camera strap lugs to the bottom of the camera. Now I use a holdfast dual strap ding so I can have two cameras on my uh, self when I'm shooting weddings and they attach using uh, the tripod screw thread at the bottom of the camera. Now obviously that's being used in uh, situations when you've got an L bracket but fortunately they've included a fresh new tripod thread just at the bottom there so I can screw my little D-ring adapter just there, hook it onto my straps and I'm good to go. Obviously you then need to unscrew that little uh, adapter off to then put this on a tripod because it will not fit when you've got an additional piece at the bottom there. But it's definitely a large improvement over the previous one because it means that I can keep this on my camera without having to swap it out. And you know, if you're paying the money that you do for a custom fitted tripod L bracket, you want to be able to use it continuously without any kind of taking off and uh, swapping it out and then it gets left in your bag and then you wonder like three days later why you still have it. This is designed to be on your camera all the time. Now you can take off this L side, so the left hand side of it. Uh, there are two screws just at the bottom here which you would pull off and then it's just kind of a handy tripod uh, Arca Swiss plate at the bottom. The team also send over this little adapter. This is a tiny little thing. Let's see if we can even get it on video. Tiny little adapter here and that is to fit just into that bottom section here and that will then couple up with any peak design capture clips that you have so you screw that in the bottom with the uh, longer screw that they provide and that goes on the outside of this tripod l bracket and then that will clip nicely into one of those uh, you know those, those points where you can just attach your camera to your strap here or onto a bag or something that's really nice that they're including that for no extra charge because it really helps with the ecosystem and just the reliability and using it with all of the other equipment. In the bag as well, you get one of these tiny little uh, carabiner things here. That's got a flathead screwdriver on one side and a hex on the other. This is so you can take on and off that screw at the bottom so you can take the L bracket off when need to. These I've got three of already. I love them. They're in all of my camera bags and it's just nice to have this just in case you never know when one of these is going to come along and you need the situation to be able to unscrew something and not break a key or something by trying to twist a, um, a flathead screwdriver screw out of your camera or camera cage or whatever you're doing. And in the bag as well, there's two smaller uh, hex um, drivers, uh, essentially just so you can get at those smaller screws on the side there as well. The actual bracket only weighs about 100 grams and it comes in in three colors. I always go for the bright orange, it's the classic three-legged thing, copper. They also do like a, a gray one and then uh, one they affectionately call darkness, which is just black, <laughs> just pure black. If you want to go for the sleek aesthetic. Myself, I prefer the bright colors. Uh, having anything with a cage or an adapter, I've got yellow cables for my microphones, I've got orange tripod plates, anything I can do to just pimp up because, you know, cameras are always black. I, I wish they would just do like a purple camera sometimes. One thing I really enjoyed about the Ellie Short was the ability to add things onto the side of the camera. Due to the way the Ellie Short was made there was two additional uh, screw points for quarter 20 I believe they're called screw uh, threads in the side of the L bracket. 
That was just a, a byproduct of the way the, the removable and adjustable side was made. But they've kept one of those screw points here on the Alfie. So if you wanted to, you could actually use this as an additional mounting point. So imagine you are using on top of your camera um, a flash, you know, either a flash or a, an external flash. And you can't use that cold shoe, hot shoe point at the top of the camera. Uh, you can't use the bottom because that's being used by your tripod plate, but you need to do something else. You need to add a continuous light or a GoPro on the side or an audio recorder down the side. Well, just here, right at the very bottom of the bracket, there is a tiny little screw point there. You screw something in there, have a little magic arm that comes off the side and you can have something essentially there just to be able to assist you with your day to day job. If anyone's watched my channel, you know that I record lots of behind the scenes with either a GoPro or an Insta360 and I would attach it there and it would just be out of the way. It would just be there on the side, not taking up any valuable kind of real estate on top of the camera, uh, but I can still get what I need to do without adding like a full size cage. One last thing to note, this section here, the L side of it, will actually use these two screws at the bottom and it will come out by about a centimeter or so. And it will just allow a little bit of a gap here. So if you are mounting your camera in the portrait orientation, you can then have some cables that run out here and then bend around a less of an aggressive corner to your microphone or video feed. It just allows basically cable management on the side. I think that's quite nice. Now, by the time this video is online, this product will be available on the Three Legged Thing website and the link will be down below. It is priced at 109 in the UK and 129 in America. You may find it different on different websites, but that is direct from the manufacturer. And as I was given this product, to review early doors from them. Uh, I am wholeheartedly recommending buying them from the supplier themselves so you can get the first and best products and no counterfeits. Now, I want you to let me know in the comments if you are an Arca Swiss person or a Manfrotto mounting plate kind of person for your tripods. Uh, I have always liked using Arca Swiss. I have done so for about 12 to 13 years now, uh, purely because that was probably what came on the first tripod I had. And also that the mounting to the camera is a lot smaller. Those Manfrotto plates get really long sometimes. Let me know in the comments below as well if you're going to be picking one up. I will see you in a future video.